Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about a common confusion that people get between the puff stitch, the bobble stitch and the popcorn stitch. Even when I first started and even when I first did a video for the bobble stitch I was also a little bit confused. I thought they were all the same stitch but as I've progressed and as I've learnt more I found that they are actually three different stitches. So I'm going to show you those three different stitches today. This first one is the puff stitch so that you see that these are a little bit rounder and also you find that the stitches um, go slightly diagonal so these don't stick out as much as the other two do I'd probably say this is the smallest this is the medium and this is definitely the bulkiest so this one here is the bobble stitch it has really nice texture to it as do all of them but as I say this is like the medium of in between the two and then this one here is the one that's really really puffy and this is the popcorn stitch. So I'm going to demonstrate all three of these to you today so hopefully it will be a little bit more clear which one is which. So for all three of these stitches, I've started off with a foundation chain which is in an even number. I have then done a double crochet into the second chain from the hook. I am talking in UK terms, so that would be a single crochet in the US. So I just have a sample piece here and I have just done a foundation chain with my double crochets. I've got to the end of that uh, very first row and I'm gonna chain one and turn. I'm going to turn my work and then do a double crochet into that very first stitch. This just helps create a border along the sides of your work. So first of all, we are going to do a puff stitch. Now it's important to remember that as we're working all of these stitches, we're actually working on the wrong side of the work. So the bobbles will, or the puff, or the popcorn stitch will all puff out towards the back. So what we do here is we yarn over, insert our hook into the next space, grab the yarn, pull it through, and you'll have three loops on the hook. And we're gonna do this a total of five times. So that's the first time. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. So you'll notice you get a whole heap of stitches on your hook. At this point, what you want to do is grab the yarn, make sure that you turn your hook all the way um, down because this will make it easier for getting back through and pull through all those loops on the hook. Just give a little bit of a pull onto your yarn and then do a double crochet, which is a US single into the next stitch. So as I say, we're working the stitch and pushing it out towards the towards the front side of the work. So this is the back side. So we'll just do that again. We're going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. That's one. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. Two. Three. Four. Notice how I'm pulling up slightly as I'm doing these. And five. Pulling up will help to make a little bit of room in this space just here. Grab the yarn, pull your hook down and pull all the way through. Just give a little tug on the yarn and then do a double crochet into the next space. So that is your puff stitch. I'll just show you that one more time. Yarn over, insert into the next space for one, two, three, four, and five. Grab the yarn, pull through, pull on the work, and then do a double crochet. So I'm just gonna do that to the end. I'll show you how to finish off and what to do for the next row. But this is how your work should be looking. So I've just done my last puff stitch here and because we're creating a border, I'm going to do my last double crochet into that very last stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn and between each row of bobbles, you do a row of double crochet. So you're going to go straight into that very first stitch, do a double crochet, 
into the top of the puff stitch, double crochet, and then you have the double crochet in between, go into the top of there, and you would just continue in that way all the way across, and then you would repeat your puff stitch row. So that is how to do your puff stitch. Next I'm going to show you how to do the bobble stitch and I'm starting off with the same foundation as I did before. I'm going to chain one, turn the work and then do a double crochet into this very first stitch. So now for a bobble stitch we're going to work with a treble crochet which is a double crochet in the US. We're going to yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook grab the yarn and pull through two loops on the hook. So that is our first one and we're going to do that five times in total and we will end up with six loops on the hook. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through just two, that's three loops and again we have four loops Now have five loops and then the last time, the fifth time, pull through only two and you'll have six loops on the hook. At this point we're going to grab the yarn, again turn your hook down to make it easier to get through and pull through all of those loops on the hook. Give your yarn a bit of a pull and then it will puff out the bobble stitch on the back. We're then going to do a double crochet into the next stitch, remember that's a UK term, this is a US single crochet, and then we're going to do that bobble stitch into the next stitch again. Of course if you wanted to add more double crochets in between each bobble to make them wider apart that is absolutely fine, you can do this however you prefer. So we'll go again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, so that's one, two, three, four, and five. So you can just, if you don't want to count, you can just count how many stitches you have on your hook, which is six. Grab the yarn, pull through all six loops, and then do a double crochet. And then I'm just going to show you one more time. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. We have six loops on the hook. Grab the yarn, pull through, tug on the work, and then do your double crochet. So I'm just going to work my way to the end. I'll show you how to finish off and add the next row to this. So I've come to the end of this row. This is what your bobble stitches will be looking like. I have one last stitch, which I'm going to do a double crochet into, and then I'm going to chain one turn the work, do my first stitch in that first stitch just here and then into the top of the bubble into the double crochet which so they'll, they'll look smaller than larger than smaller than larger so make sure that you're not missing any and then you're just going to do your row of double crochet all the way along and then repeat your bubble row. And finally I'm going to show you the popcorn stitch which is probably the most advanced out of the three but again I'm starting with the same base as what I did before. I'm going to chain one, turn my work and do a double crochet into this very first space. And now what we're going to do is do five trebles into this next stitch. So remember that's double crochet in the US. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's your first one. I'm going to do four more in here. 
two, three, four, and five. So you end up with like a fan effect here. Okay, this is where some people struggle, so make sure that you are taking it nice and slowly. You're going to pull up on your loop just here and remove your hook. Be sure that you're not pulling too tightly here. So we're going to work backwards. We're going to have a look at where our stitches are. We've got our first stitch here. One, two, three, four, and five. It's this fifth stitch where we're going to reinsert our hook. So we're going to pop our hook back in there and then back through this loop. So pull it through and then pull your finger up or pull your tension tighter around that loop. And then you're just going to pull that all the way through, pull down on the yarn, and then you have your really nice puffy popcorn stitch. So we're going to go into the next stitch and do a double crochet just like we have been doing with the other stitches and then we're going to do that again. So five trebles into the next space. So that's one, two, three, four, and five, so you've made like your fan. You're going to pull up on the loop, but without pulling on your tension. Count backwards, one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook into that fifth, or the first treble that you did. Insert your hook back into the loop, and then pull through. And that is your second popcorn stitch of the row. So insert your hook, and do a double crochet into the next stitch. And then I'll just show you this popcorn stitch one more time. So five trebles into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull up your loop, count backwards, one, two, three, four, five. Insert your hook, grab your loop, pull on your tension, and then pull that through. And do your double crochet to secure. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row and show you how to finish off this row and start your next. So at the end of this row, this is what your popcorn stitches will be looking like. They're really, really bulky and they'll probably peek their way out as you're working across. But I'm going to do my double crochet into the last stitch of this row. I'm going to chain one, turn, and then you might have to twist your work as you're working back this other way. But you want to do your double crochet into each of the stitches all the way along. So again, you might just have to twist it towards you to be able to see the top of the stitches. But the same principle as the others, you're doing one double crochet into the popcorn stitch and then one double crochet into the double from the previous row. So that is your popcorn stitch. So there you have it, that is your puff stitch, your bobble stitch and your popcorn stitch. I hope this clarifies a few things for you and helps you when you're working on your projects. If you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!